Thanks for tuning in. I'm Joe LaRocca, joined here by co MC Amber Bradley with a special guest. We have Frank Camerino, who's the Vice President of Business Development with Metro One. And Amber has a few questions for him. I do. We're not getting to the hot seat questions just yet because we want to talk about Metro One. First, thank you so much for being a wonderful sponsor of the D&D event, for sure. Thank you. But let's talk about Metro One. Tell us, and I'm all about the marketing speak, but not today, not today. We're not boiling today. it down for all the plain speakers out there. Tell us what Metro One does. I would say the one thing that we do is building long-term relationships with our clients. That's the one thing if I had to point out today, that would be it. Oh, well, he totally went uh, esoteric on us, which is <laughs> I didn't expect, but hey, that's cool. <laughs> and a really good thing because, you know, solution providers and retailers, you know, making sure you guys are doing the best thing for your clients, yeah? Yes, absolutely. That's our number one goal. So we're going to pass it over to Joe. He's got some more questions for you, too. You're well, not, it's not that easy. Not, not on the hot seat. <laughs> well, Frank, just before we came on camera, we were talking a little bit about the types of customers that Metro One serves. And it's not just retail customers. You're doing some unique things, in fact, even this week, right? Yes, this week we are providing security for the uh, big show at the Javits Center. Very nice. So, for, so working on behalf of the National Retail Federation, and uh, there was a big gala last night. I, I heard there was some security wandering around. Is that true or false? Uh, uh, no comment. I might have been in the kitchen with a plate. I don't know. Uh oh. See, there we go. <laughs> so we're just wondering where our invite was to MC the thing. I'm just saying. Just saying. Maybe you can give us a plug for next year. Well, we certainly could have used some help working. Yeah. Oh, I could <laughs> uh, see me in security. I, I, that sounds like an invite to me. <laughs> so, Frank, you know, you have a, a long history, over 25 years of working in retail leadership. And I'm curious, you, you've worked for a couple of companies prior to joining the Metro One. How did you start in the business? Well, I actually started as a red jacket guard for Caldor Department Stores, if anyone remembers that. Wow. Uh, worked my way up to being a store detective, asset protection manager, uh, so on and so forth. Worked my way up through the ranks of the, uh, of the retail side, and then I, uh, I joined the dark side 11 years ago. And I'm uh, very happy here, and I uh, have built a nice career, and uh, very excited to be part of the Metro One team. So well, that wasn't a Star Wars reference, was it? The whole dark side thing? No, <laughs> now, I remember when you joined Metro One, it was, I don't know, 10, 11 years ago. Is that about right? Yes, that is correct. 11 years ago. And uh, what I remember is the ability for you to hire and train the store detectives and the special investigations people that were uh, working in the company. And see, now it, now it all makes complete sense. You walk the walk, talk the talk, you, you were there on the ground floor doing it from the beginning. That's correct. That's a big part of knowing, you know, I, I, was, a, I was in those positions, so I know how to train in those positions. And that's kind of our, uh, you know, our, our MO, uh, having retail executives. We've all worked on that resell, retail side, so we get it, we understand. And, and now you're a big executive, and I'm sure you have, uh, you're familiar with all of those crazy corporate terms, and I know Amber has a couple <laughs> questions about That's right, that's right. We are really talking about deleting some uh, office phrases from your vocabulary. We've already thrown some down, one which was uh, honestly, per my last email, thinking outside the box, boring, right? So, but while we were off camera, we, you threw out a couple. You want to share one with us? Sure, this might get me in trouble with a few of my clients, but I would say uh, blue skying. Oh. And uh, I do have a hard stop, so I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> the blue sky. What other color would it be? I'm just wondering. I, I don't know. It could be gray and cloudy and snowy. Yeah, how about gray, cloudy, and snow? Well, you know, it could be I didn't see that on orange. an agenda. Uh, no, I did not see that either. <laughs> how about, uh, you know, one thing that goes with the whole blue sky, and this is relatively recent, but it's the whole blue ocean. Whoever wrote that book, The Blue Ocean, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, no. Oh, the blue ocean. Maybe not so familiar at this point, but Joe, what do you got? I don't know. Really crazy. <laughs> okay. So, you know, since we have you in a, a short, fun little segment. Um, we think I, it's fun. We think just it's saying. fun. We, they, it's really hard <laughs> being on camera. So just ask Frank afterwards. This is Frank. We're, <laughs> having, we're having a good time. Just, just ask us. It, so, okay. So I want to know, I didn't even ask you this. Did you play Powerball? Yes, I did play but I'm still here, so obviously I didn't win. I think you would still be here even if you did win because you're well, that committed. for this, yes, maybe no, for this. For this. Yeah. See, for this, I'd be here. I'd, come on, I'd, I'd come to, Oh, totally, I'd so come to New York. You have to gloat, you know, you have to. 
for gloating purposes only. Yes. Okay, so. but would you tell? Would you tell everybody? Well, I don't know. That's a tough question. I, 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 I don't know. know. I have the money in my hand first before I know that. I got one. I got one for you. This is the burning hot seat question. What would you spend it on? Would you just buy a bunch of boats and cars and stuff? For no. Yeah, I would do that. Oh. That'd be a start. <laughs> boats and you know what? Maybe an island. And I. I like that idea. That works. Yeah. Where would your island be? Somewhere with a blue sky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See? See, you do love Just the blue you sky. Just you think about it, it's a zinger right in there with the <laughs> office phrases. See, you... well, I don't know. You know, I think I would travel quite a bit. I'd come to New York City. Of course, I'd need security, and I would contact Metro One. I mean, oh, hello. Oh, what a great okay. loop. Eh? Because you do executive, executive protection. protection right? Very good. I okay. like that. Good, good. good. Let's talk about that. I am fascinated with this whole executive protection world. So I know you can tell us all about every detail, but what is the most big time executive you guys have protected? It's very confidential, I can't oh. tell you. You know what, that's a corporate phrase I'm gonna delete from my vocabulary, it's confidential. That's I thought brutal. you wanted to delete, I'm sick. I'm sick, <laughs> I've got one. Low hanging fruit. Oh, oh. Yes. oh with one. the low hanging fruit. What is it, an apple, an orange, a pear? I don't know, it's low hanging. How about the rotted junky stuff on the ground? Yeah, how about pick up the ground <laughs> It already fruit. fell, yes. And, I love that, And Let's throw it, it. throw it at Amber. Oh, br no, brutal, boo. brutal, boo. <laughs> terrible joke. Hashtag Joe's terrible jokes live on camera. It was you know, cool. we should. We need to check Twitter. We probably have people. So you're hashtagging at LPNN, and we're looking forward to your comments and questions. We have to check and see do what people tweet? are saying. Yes, I do. What's your handle? Uh, you know, I just started, so I'm not sure. <laughs> but I've been tweeting NRF all week. That's awesome. So we have a new tweeter on our hands, yes. which is pretty cool. Yep, learning. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hunt Frank down on Twitter and <laughs> and we're gonna Twitter Twitter bomb work. him. Yeah. yeah. What about Facebook? I'm on Facebook. Yes. Uh, we yes. should ask him the go question. Ahead. Go ahead. You gotta ask go. him. You have okay. To ask him. So here's the question. This is the hot Amber's first hot seat question it we was. have to ask. So if somebody tries to friend you on Facebook from work, do you accept or decline? Well, that's a tough question. It can get me in a lot of trouble. That's true. I accept, uh, always. Uh, no, no way. <laughs> oh. So if you have friended Frank and you haven't heard back, it's coming. The it's friend coming. accept is coming. You just have to wait for it. Yeah, and you're in the majority, by the way. Yeah. Most people would, in fact, accept if Look, you knew who they were. I am hashtag WZ trained, and I got to say you're, you're lying. You're lying. You don't <laughs> accept him. You don't, Frank. Come on, come clean. Of course I do. Okay, well, I'm, I'm really you not. with Facebook Landers. after. I'll show you. Well, all right. Do you all have right. do you have like a thousand friends on Facebook and uh, I don't know the number, but it's well, uh, if he won, a few. There's a few. If he won the Powerball, he would have a thousand million bazillion. I, think I would shut down Facebook if hey. I uh, won that. Oh, see, nice. there's something you would do. Yeah. Nice. We got a Facebook hater in the house. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I was one of those people in the minority when this question was asked, and I said I would decline. Yeah, and your your that video is played and has probably has one of our most views because everyone was so upset that Joe declines their Facebook request. Yeah, just follow follow you know me what? on Twitter, follow me on LinkedIn. I'm going to send him a Facebook request today. Oh, no, oh. I think you're going to get declined. Here, we, you know what we should do? We should also make some 2016 rules for Facebook because I got a real thing with cat pictures. Oh, wait, my phone's buzzing. It might be Facebook. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think we should say rules for Facebook. How many cat pictures are you allowed in a week? I agree. None. Cat, uh, one, no cat uh, one a month or none? Yeah, one a month or none. I think you need pictures. to wean, wean people off of the cat pictures. Okay, I'm down with that. I agree. How or, about these cooking videos? I, I don't cook. I don't care what you're putting in the pot. I mean, it's kind of tasty, but you know what they miss? Going to the store for two hours trying to find ground cloves or something like that, right? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you a cook? Do you cook? Are you a cook? Yeah. I do cook. I do cook, and sometimes I do take the recipes off of those. Some of them are pretty good. Oh, like the tasty. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, some of the tasty ones are good. Do you cook, Joe? No. I don't either. I'm tired of seeing your cooking videos on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I'm... We're down to cooking <laughs> videos on Facebook. How about, right how about now? posting food on Facebook? Yeah. You know, I got to tell I, you, here's a, here's a little tickler in the Facebook thing. Why do you post something that no one knows what the heck you're talking about? It's like a down in the hole, y'all, or something. Like, I don't understand that. Do you uh, ever do that? I, I, I don't know some of those things. I have to actually ask my kids what they mean. No one knows what you're talking about. 
Okay. And, and you know why they're doing it? For the likes. I don't get it. Do you do but, that? No, I, I, I try not to. But I was just thinking about what Frank said with the food, right? I have a friend. That I had we, this for lunch today. We, oh, we go into every time we go out. Oh, no. oh see, see, <laughs> oh, oh. That, and it, and the friend I was talking about is not Frank, but seriously, every time we go to a restaurant anywhere in the country, he whips out his camera and takes a picture of the food of what he's eating. I'm having this for lunch. It's like an umami burger on the table, oh. and he's taking a photograph of it. Wrong with that. Oh no. Am okay. I allowed to say umami burger? I don't even know what that is. So go on with your bad self. Do you even know? You don't know what an umami burger no. is? Frank, no. Oh, here no. we go. Oh, we don't oh, have umami Frank, burgers out here. It has here. been a joy, and thank you for taking our ridiculous commentary. But we're going to send it back to Gus and his cooking tips. Not really. Back to you, Gus. <laughs>